Communication between the body's cells, tissues, and organ systems is crucial to effectively regulate and maintain homeostasis. Two body systems, nervous and endocrine, play particularly important roles in fulfilling these major tasks. The nervous system provides a framework for sensory, integrative, and motor functions. The endocrine system secretes powerful chemicals called hormones that regulate body functions. A feedback system is a cycle that constantly monitors, evaluates, and adjusts the status of the internal environment of the body. A cycle is triggered by a stimulus that alters a normal homeostatic state, called a controlled condition. All feedback loops have three main components, a receptor, control center, and effector that communicate with one another to maintain controlled conditions. Most receptors are sensory nerve cells that monitor and communicate changes in the status of a controlled condition. The hypothalamus is an important integrating center for both nervous and hormonal regulatory processes. The range of values for a controlled condition, such as body temperature, is set in the control center. The input from receptors is evaluated and compared to norms by the control center. A plan of action for response to the altered condition is formed in the control center as well. Regulatory commands to affect the change in status of the controlled condition are communicated either in the form of electrical nerve impulses or secreted hormones or both. Effectors are the cells of any body structure that receives output from the control center. Effectors produce a response that adjusts the altered controlled condition. Most of the body's systems use negative feedback systems to maintain homeostasis. They are called negative because they reverse the altered controlled condition. For example, if a stimulus causes a rise in blood pressure, the feedback cycle will reverse this and lower the blood pressure. When the controlled condition is returned to its normal state by the feedback system, homeostasis is attained. Positive feedback systems are fewer in number because they reinforce an altered control condition that doesn't happen very often. Labor and childbirth is an example. A positive feedback loop can only be stopped by a mechanism from outside of the system, such as the birth of the baby. 